Everybody, welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. In today's video, we're taking a look at two of the most common fabrics used for knitwear to be worn with tailoring. That would be merino wool and cashmere. We're comparing some of the features of each of the fabrics, whether one is better, and under which circumstances you choose cashmere versus merino wool. So stay tuned. So first up in our comparison is merino wool. And merino is a breed of sheep, Australian generally. Um, widely sold in department stores in terms of knitwear, sweaters, and such. Very affordable, which is part of its appeal. This is a suit supply merino wool, Australian merino wool crew neck sweater. It's $89 plus tax from the 2021 autumn winter collection. And that affordability is not something to ignore because if you want to have a wide range of colors, for, for instance, having that being an affordable proposition. Is not something to sneeze at, right? If you want to do a navy blue like this with light blue or with a camel jacket, and on the other hand, you want to do a light gray sweater with a navy blue jacket, keeping your budget affordable or keeping the budget within reasonable limits can be helped by buying merino wool as opposed to cashmere. Now, merino tends to be lightweight too. Uh, it can be made readily into uh, fine gauge knitwear. This is quite light. It feels almost like cotton, like a t-shirt, but it has long sleeves. Uh, so maybe like a polo shirt, uh, but it has the added advantages of wool, which would be that sort of snappiness to the material. Also has thermal regulation, helping to keep your body temperature within a comfortable range. Wool is naturally odor resistant too. And so important thing if you're wearing it directly on your body. On a side note, speaking of crew necks with tailoring, I like to wear mine either with no undershirt or with a piece of uh, an undershirt, a t-shirt that has a scoop neck so that you don't actually see the white of the t-shirt visible above the neckline of the sweater. Uh, some people like to have that white showing for your t-shirt. Uh, Simon Crompton talks about this as kind of a style technique. Uh, but I think even if you get really nicely knitted undershirts, nicely knitted t-shirts, that white still looks like an undershirt if it's peeking out above your neckline. Um, so I prefer either no undershirt if I'm feeling lucky or uh, an undershirt that you can't see uh, to keep the knitwear away from your body. Now, of course, you can also wear uh, a shirt with a collar, which will be quite visible here. And in that case, you want a crew neck that maybe has a little deeper uh, neckline that goes lower so that you see a little bit more of the shirt. Uh, but I've been doing this recently, and it's sort of the way I've been wearing my knitwear um, in terms of crew necks. So merino wool has the appeals of being affordable, and it's also temperature regulating, and um, also quite uh, light, and you can wear it for three seasons in that case, uh, being um, autumn, winter, and spring. And our second fabric is cashmere, named for the region in which the goats that produced this fleece were originally bred. Though lately, cashmere comes from China and Mongolia for the most part. Cashmere, compared to merino, would be more expensive. This particular sweater from Suit Supply was $159 as opposed to the $89 of the merino wool. Generally speaking, cashmere has associations of luxury. If someone says that they're wearing cashmere or brands market something that's containing cashmere, the expectation is that this is a more luxurious item and more expensive. However, there are brands like Gobi Cashmere um, from Mongolia or Quince, which produce cashmere for two digits pricing. So you can actually get cashmere for comparable prices to merino wool, even cheaper in some of these cases. Quality is decent, um, not the best, but uh, you can sort of get them within the same range as merino wool. But as a general rule, cashmere would always be more expensive than merino of comparable quality. For instance, this season, as I was looking through sweaters, perhaps the most expensive merino sweater I've seen is $400 in terms of a crew neck, not factoring in luxury brands like Cuccinelli or Ralph Lauren and Purple Label. Say an average high end. Um, merino sweater, maybe $400 max, whereas with cashmere, $800 was something that I saw this season. So maybe double the price, which was the case with suit supply as well. 
Cashmere, because of its qualities, tends to be more of a winter fabric, something you would wear in cold in the cold season, not as versatile in terms of straddling three seasons. If you wear a cashmere sweater in the springtime, it looks like you're wearing a winter garment when the weather may be cool, but still not wintry. So I would say it has more of a limited application. Uh, cashmere has that sort of spongy texture to it, which makes it more wintry. And it might be a function of the fact that the goats are raised in hostile conditions. And it was found that goats that had it too easy didn't produce the best cashmere. Uh, if they live in their usual environmental conditions where things are sort of barren and cold and somewhat bleak, uh, the quality of the cashmere is actually higher. Hence why Mongolia is a world leader in producing cashmere. Northerly climes, rocky landscapes, cold environment, etc. And that's reflected in the uh, winteriness of the fabric. Um, cashmere will keep you warmer than the equivalent merino wool, I would say, of, of the same gauge weight. And so for that reason, also definitely a, a good winter fabric and if you live in a colder area. Cashmere, in addition to being luxurious in reputation, also has a reputation of being hard to take care of. And I would say you can destroy a merino sweater pretty easily, too, if you wash it the wrong way or if you treat it badly. But cashmere has a certain delicacy to it where it may mat more, it can wear, and it can stretch out if you have a really soft cashmere. Some of the cheaper ones tend to be less stretchy and can stretch less resistant to pulling, I should say, less resistant to stretching, and therefore can stretch out uh, and therefore be destroyed that way. So if you do have cashmere, treat it well in terms of knitwear. Cashmere overcoats, for instance, not as durable as the equivalent wool overcoat uh, because of its relative delicacy. So cashmere tends to be more expensive, but can be found for prices that are comparable to merino wool, though perhaps of not the greatest quality. Uh, it's excellent for winter wear, keeps you warmer, and has that wintry look, so fills that niche really nicely, and may require more care than merino wool. If you found that comparison useful, please like the video, follow us at Gentleman Scholars Club for more similar information, tips, style advice, discussion of tailoring and classic menswear. As always, thank you for watching.